this is really an honor. And uh, I'm kind of nervous, but it's not an area that I'm as comfortable with. I'd rather be in a dressing room with you all and dressing you. But instead, I'm stuck addressing you. But it's a passion, an obsession. Um, and in everything I do, that's the way I take it on. So it all starts with partnering. Uh, I look around the room today, and each one of us, as Laura so beautifully said, has been touched. I stand here as a patient. I stand here as a loved one. And that's my loved one, my partner, my partner in crime. My husband, Stephen, died of lung cancer seven years ago. And when he was diagnosed, um, I've been known in the fashion world as a woo-woo. Because all my woo-woos happen to be here in the audience. That's what's brought me here. <laughs> Dean, Deepak, Mark, and I love you all because you've gotten me to who I am today. I would wish I can have a meditation right now so I feel a little bit calmer, <laughs> which is usually not my energy. However, um, when my husband was diagnosed with cancer, he all of a sudden realized my woo-woos were really important. It wasn't just treating the disease, it was treating his health care. My girlfriend Lynn, breast and brain cancer, a journey that I really didn't realize what I was going through for both of them. Out of all this started Urban Zen. How do you find the calm and the chaos? Collaborating, communicating, and creating change. Three years ago, we had a group get together and said, OK, what's wrong with the medical system? I'm a patient. I'm a loved one. There's something radically wrong. How do we get together and treat the patient, not the disease? I don't have the answers, I don't have the mechanisms, but instead of dressing people, I wanted to address the needs of hand. And these are all the needs that each one of us have. And what you're doing here today, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes, I am vulnerable. We all got together and talked about all the patients, all the doctors, the nurses, Deepak was there, Mehmet was there, and we all sat around and had an opportunity to look at the medical system and really see what was wrong. We weren't as far as technology, and God only knows I wasn't a doctor, but I was that loved one sitting in a hospital. And figuring out where was the humanness in the hospitals. The doctors need to be taken care of, the nurses needed to be taken care of, the patients need to be taken care of, and the loved ones need to be taken care of. And how we were gonna achieve this and accomplish it. We sat around, like most things happen, at a dinner table one night. Myself, Woody Merrill, God bless you, I love you dearly from the bottom of my heart with Rodney Yee, who is my yoga teacher and another one of my God bless woo-woos. And we sat there and meditated and figured out, one of the things my husband said to me is, Donna, you've got to help the nurses. And I didn't exactly understand what he was saying at that point, but I did understand. Because it was how do we care for the patient and the loved one, and the doctor and the nurse. So with that, we sat around, and Rodney says, well, look at the yoga community. The yoga community is an amazing community who understands mind, body, and spirit. What's wrong with the medical system? Woody, who is an amazing doctor who really understands the whole interaction of medicine today, who is now responsible for Beth Israel Hospital, said, well, can you come into Beth Israel Hospital and work the training there? So he said, well, can you decorate it? Can you design it? Well, I said, well, that's the easy stuff. I could do that very simply. But designing was not my problem. What I wanted to design was a new program of how to communicate with the patients and their loved one and care for the disease. And yes, on the side, put a little time and energy in and trying to create the ultimate healing environment. We created the sanctuary, a place where people can go into and be able to have peace and calm. And the interesting thing of what's happening in the sanctuary right now it's not only for the patient and the loved ones, but the doctors and the nurses really need it because they are blown away and stressed out. Probably more than anything, the doctors and the nurses need some help right now as well. So with this program, we started a teaching with Rodney Yee, Colleen Sademan, um, Young Living Oils, Reiki, a Reiki master, Palliative Care, care with Joan Halifax. We all got together and said, how can we help and benefit the medical system? So together we are training 100 integrative therapists right now in a 500-hour training. These people are trained in in-bed yoga, 
which is posturing and yoga, everybody thinks is putting your arms and legs around your head, but it really isn't. It's just sitting there and being present and being calm and being with yourself. Right now, I'd like to be able to be calm and with myself too, to be honest with you, but I am a little nervous. But through this process, we are training 100 integrative therapists. These therapists have integrated themselves in the hospital and working with the patient, the loved one, the doctor, and the nurse. We are clinically testing this right now, and we are absolutely at the seed level. But I must say, it has been remarkable. To be able to be next to a patient and with them and guide them and be there for them, because as you all know, we're lost in the system. There's so much technology, there are so many things to do, there's so many medications to take, but that moment that somebody says, you've got, I can't sit here and say that I'm purely an advocate of cancer only. For me, I'm an advocate of healthcare in its totality. From that moment when you are defined that you have, your system goes into total and complete panic. What do I do? In the old days, we used to have sort of Ben Casey who used to guide us through our journey. What has happened to that doctor today? Well, I sit here with Mark Hyman, I look in Deepak and all my wonderful Brilliant doctors and Dean Ornish who really do understand the totality of the patient, but there are not enough of them around. There are so many individual doctors that one takes care of your ear, one takes care of your eye, one takes care of your nose, one takes care of your fingers, and you go, but wait a second, I'm a real person, I'm a full person, what do I do? Your loved one is lost, you're lost in the whole scheme of things. So what we tried to do was to create a program that helped assist the doctor, the nurse, the patient, and the loved one to create the optimum healing environment where we can all get together and truly care for the patient. It's been an extraordinary, extraordinary experience. We're about to graduate 100 integrative therapists right now. And when I talk about this program to other hospitals, I said, can we have it, can we have it, can we have it? As I stand in front of all of you today and here at TEDMED, my dream, my passion for each and every one of us as a loved one, as a patient, is to collaborate together to create the change that is so needed in the medical system today. And with that dream, we can have the optimum healing experience. We had the opportunity to go to New Orleans, which was really quite extraordinary. So as we're not only in hospitals, we're able to travel with patients outside of the hospital. Eve Ensler asked us to go to New Orleans to treat 6,000 people with integrative help. It is so available to us with the opportunity to have somebody who loves you, somebody who's by your side, somebody to guide you. I sit here today and I quite honestly don't have the answer. But the only thing I do know is that every single one of us joined together can in fact change the medical system today. So here at Urban Zen, all I want to do is be a part of the solution. I want to join forces with every single last one of you. I want to get out there on the internet. I want to be there for the training. I want to help change the healthcare system. And it is with my love and passion that I stand before you today, and I thank you for allowing me to share our stories. Right now, we have 100 integrative therapists that are being graduated, that are going into the hospitals. Soon, I hope, from 100 will be 200 to 300. The dream of Urban Zen is that we have a center in New York City, Urban Zen, to find the calm and the chaos. I hope to find that this institution be, can be franchised throughout the world, throughout the countries, so that each one of you in your residence, in your areas, can help assist in creating these patient navigators to help change the healthcare system. Well, I thank you so much for being here. I try to get it out in eight minutes, and I hope I did my job properly. So thank you very much. Donna, wait a minute. Donna, Donna, Donna. Donna. I'm always worried when people who I don't know, I don't know you, and I have a preconception that you're, you know, you're slick and you're powerful, and maybe you are slick and powerful, but you weren't slick and powerful here. You were a gentle and honest soul, and I loved having you here. Thank you very really. much. I appreciate okay. that. Thank you. Thank you.